People talk about business plans and writing 11 pages and 12 pages on a business plan. Screw all that shit. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Today, we are at WPPI in Las Vegas, Nevada with Melissa Guiones and Jerry Guiones. But who is Jerry? Guiones? Guiones, The yeah. Australian. Yeah. Um, he sings. You know how I feel. I think. His wife is amazing. Melissa is like the best person in the entire world. She's like super sweet. They have really cute dogs. Um, I guess Jerry's fine. He's like, he's okay. I just keep seeing him here year after year, but it's really Melissa that I'm here for. So that's, you know, Jerry is Melissa's husband. I am Jerry Guionis. I am a photographer and filmmaker. I live in Las Vegas most of the time. Uh, we live in Australia as well. And Melissa and I are directors of the WPPI competition involved in countless ways. I'm Melissa Guionis. I am one of the competition directors for WPPI and a photographer and an attendee. When you hear the acronym WPPI, it's synonymous with family. My best friends have been made from all over the world and I can literally go to almost any country and know that I've got a place to stay, uh, a friend to go dinner with, because we're all rooting for the same industry. We're, we're creating history together. I'm telling you the value that you get when you're here and the friends that you make and the life-changing conversations that you'll have at the bar, let alone the, the, the platform presentations that you go to, it's just, it, it warms my heart that people are here are willing to learn and, and uh, do it the right way. That's what we need to do is we need to get together as a community and help each other and uplift each other. And really that's Melissa and I's full-time job. Last few years, we have been one of the print competition directors. There's, there's a few of us. And basically we just handle all of the prints that come through the competition. There's a filmmaking aspect as well. And we get help with that from actual filmmakers who know what they're looking at. Um, but the print side of it, all of the prints come through us. Uh, all of the entries, when they get uploaded, they get vetted and checked by us to make sure they follow all the rules, um, to make sure they're in the right categories, and then we sort them into the categories, ship them in crates here to the convention center uh, the day before the print competition starts, and then we spend two days organizing, getting all the judges together, training the judges, and then we spend two full days just going through all of the entries until we're done. And it's amazing. It's such an educational experience. It's so much work, but just walking around and like just even today, everyone's saying how much they learned. And that's the whole point of it is that just to learn from all of these different photographers, you have the best of the best all in one space and you get to listen to them for two full days on all these different genres from newborn to landscapes to everything in between. And it's just so educational. and like walking around and seeing the prints in the gallery and talking to people and saying how much they've learned just makes everything, all of the hard work, so worth it. <laughs> Melissa and I are, are cheerleaders for, for the industry. We are, as far as the competition, we're there for, to, be, to keep everyone on a fair and level playing field. People only see what happens when it's bright and shiny in the platform stages, but Melissa and I's WPPI starts literally a month and two months and three months before, even months before where we plan, we refine, we look at rules and categories and make sure that every community is represented. And also all the prints, now that we live in Vegas, and I'm like, hey, you know what we should do? Bring the, send the prints to our house, let's do it. And then I don't have a garage for like a month and a half. I think I should charge WPPI for my car washes because I, my car can't fit in the garage and I can't play ping pong in my casita because all the prints are in that freaking room. All of these things that haven't go behind the scenes, like, you know, Melissa and I, we organize all the judges, we have training, print handlers, hangers, and all this stuff. We're nurturing people through this process because we know how nerve wracking can be. And, and after all these years, and when I could enter, it's still nerve wracking because you're wearing your heart on your sleeve, you're putting your prints and your films and your albums up and you're saying, judge me. We make sure that every single entry is given due respect, um, has a really good, positive and valuable comments, but also very constructive and value. We're not just there to tell you what the problem is, but here are a couple of suggestions on how you can fix it and why. And then all of a sudden people start winning awards and you see how their lives have been changed as it changes our lives. And we're like, okay, it's the most amount of fun and it's the most rewarding time that you never want to do again, at least for another year. And uh, here we are again. We are here at the awards ceremony at WPPI 2022. It has been a long couple of years, certainly only six months since the last award ceremony. But this is the time that Melissa and I get to celebrate 
everyone that has participated and there are so many milestones being met, whether it's a new designation, someone's won an award for the first time, someone wins a first place or gets their masters, double masters, triple masters or grand masters. It's a time for us to be cheerleaders. We've ran to the finishing line and this is where you say it's all worth it and it gives us the strength to actually say, all right, we'll, we'll organize a competition for next year. So this is what it's all about. We love it. I'm very, very tired right now, but we're gonna be giving a lot of hugs, perhaps uh, shedding a few tears with some friends, and uh, this is gonna be a great time. I can't wait. It is so inspirational to see all of these incredible images and know the story behind them, and then hear all the comments and see things that the judges saw that I never would have noticed and so I'm learning every single time. It's probably one of the best learning experiences. And then once the competition is over, the rest of the week is just my favorite part is just seeing all my friends that I haven't seen in so long. And it's just amazing. It's like home week, it's like reunion week and I don't get much sleep because I just don't want to leave them. At the end of every night, we just want to stay up and stay talking the entire night and I love it. And we crash at the end because we're so tired, but it was so worth it because we got to see our WPPI family. There's so many first time people, um, photographers that I've met here and talking to them and just, hearing them say how welcoming it's been and how many friends they've made and how they can't wait till next year to see them again. Some of our friends we don't see more than once a year at WPPI every year and it's just beautiful that community more than anything that's been built because of it. And if you think you're good I want you to walk the halls of the gallery tomorrow and you'll realize that there are so many people better than you. So what do you do with that? You can be intimidated or you can be inspired. I choose to be inspired. Entering for the first time in 2002, I, I couldn't attend. I think it was 2002, 2001. And I heard about this, like, it's this big organization, you know, probably one of the biggest from all around the world. You know, hey, why not enter? And back then I was obsessed, you know, to just make my mark in the industry. And not so much for like notoriety, it wasn't for that. I just wanted to see where I stood. So I entered and I got a call from a friend of mine and said, you just scored a 100 on your album. And it ended up winning and I just said, this is crazy. I, 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 I do the work for my clients, but to be recognized by your peers was something really truly special. And then I said, I've, I've got, to, got to attend. So we ended up attending WPPI the following year and now it's become a staple. I look for those dates and I block out two weekends of weddings and portraits and other shoots that I do to attend. So it is a bit of a sacrifice financially to do it, but then I got involved. It's It's been an incredible journey to, to see people do it, like Cheryl Walsh last night, to see her, I mean, she's quite an introvert. She's always been very, very humble. Cheryl is such a beautifully passionate woman, but she's so introverted as so many of us creatives are and shy. And she had to overcome so much of that in order to just come to the convention and just to see her work change and evolve and just become so sophisticated over the years. It's so awesome to watch someone's journey like that and to feel like you're there and along for the ride. It's absolutely incredible. It doesn't matter what's good for you, me, whatever. What does the community want? How can we celebrate different genres? How do we evolve? How do we celebrate everybody? Um, that's what it's all about. And Melissa and I's job, really, the full-time job, is to keep everyone on a fair and level playing field. That's what it's all about. And on the awards night, I'm, we're, just at a, we're cheerleaders. What WPPI represents to me is community, family, education, and a bit of entertainment. Yes, you're gonna come here for the pretty pictures. Yes, you're gonna come here for competition, get a pat on the back, whatever. But there are so many classes on business and how to make a living from this. So my, my encouragement to anyone watching is to go out of your way to learn the actual business of photography first. Pretty pictures, you'll practice that, you get better with every shoot. For anyone who's just starting their career and wanting to really pursue this, just soak in everything. Doesn't matter where it's from, doesn't matter where you go, soak in as much information as you can from as many people as you can. The way that anyone can compete with anyone in the world is simply by being meaningful and purposeful. Posing, you can teach. Lighting, you can teach. I mean, that kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's somewhat formulaic. With the lighting, with shadows, with composition, can I communicate more effectively about who someone is with what I do? So being purposeful and, and flattering is extremely important. And being able to distinguish that difference, 
but learn your craft, but the craft of business. What is your happy price to immortalize moments for other families at the expense of your own? There are so many things that you need to learn if you're watching this and if you're a, you know, a, a, someone who wants to get in this industry. If you want to do it right, you have to understand that there's a, there's a foundation to it. And as far as a business plan, people talk about business plans and writing 11 pages and 12 pages on a business plan. Screw all that shit. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I, I, after me writing several business plans in my career, I'm like, let me simplify this in a sentence. How do I make the most amount of money for the least amount of time, for the least amount of investment, for the most amount of fun? Thank you so much to Melissa and Jerry for having me along. Also to you, please come to WPPI 2023. It really is a fantastic time. Jerry and I have a celebrity couple name, Hugh Jonas. I actually asked Melissa if I could borrow some of Jerry's clothes for tonight, and apparently all of his tiny vests were at the dry cleaners. <laughs> but this isn't about him, it's not about me, and it would be inappropriate for me to mention these things about Jerry that we all love so much, like the ridiculous amount of leather bracelets he wears, and the fact that he doesn't move his arms when he walks. This is about... 